You see this dog culture, sorry, but the dog nuttery continues. You see this dog culture, it makes no sense. And I've been saying this nearly in every video. And I'm going to keep saying it until this dog culture, you know, ceases to exist. Until all dogs have been abandoned, erased, and eliminated from the face of this earth. But again, dog culture, it makes no sense. The bully breed culture, the pit bull culture, it makes no sense whatsoever. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's, all, it's all about the dogs. It's dog culture is, it, obviously, it's all about the dog. It's, it's about the dog, worshiping the dog. Putting the dog before the children, putting the dog before man, putting the dog before the seniors, putting the dog before everything. And these things are so worthless. These things can't even do anything. They can't do anything for themselves. They can't do anything for anyone else. They, they can't do anything. They're so worthless. But yet we're, I want to say we're, but the dog nutters are putting the dog in front of everything. Even though that they don't provide nothing whatsoever. Uh, in, you know... Ancient uh, civilizations, even till now, uh, they've always worshipped the sun. They've worshipped the sun, like even today, even 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 to do things they don't even even on the 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 current calendar that we're on. It's it's all about worshiping the sun. Every holiday, every month, every date uh, is is about worshiping uh, this sun. And the reason why, you know, I can say they worship the sun because the sun provided, provides a lot of benefits, provides heat, provides warmth, uh, provides energy for food, energy for yourself. Uh, you know, vitamin is vitamin D, helps plants grow. The, the sun is is everything. You can see when the sun's out. When it's not out, it's very dark and you can't see. So it kind of makes sense. Why, you know, man would worship the sun because it's so beneficial. But you see with dogs, we worship dogs even though they do nothing. Nothing for man. And I'm not talking about the service dog, the emotional support dog, because that's all man. Man is the one conditioning, training, and drugging up these things to, to do something. I've yet to see a dog line up and saying, hey, I want to be an emotional service dog. I want to be a support dog. I want to support you. I want to help you. No dog has ever done that. When they get a dog, they have to train it, condition it, brainwash it to do what they want the dog to do. And what do they use? They use food. And after that, they, they create this illusion and this delusion saying the dog loves you. The dog wants to do this for you. The dog wants you to feel well, but that is not the case. You want the dog to do something for you. Even though at the end of the day it does nothing. That's why you have to go into the delusion. You got to go into your illusion. You got to hallucinate first. Before you can say this dog is doing something for someone. But a dog does nothing. Absolutely nothing. It does nothing. for Not even for itself. Not even for its own worthless offspring. Have you ever heard of a dog hunting for food for its own offspring? If so, it's very rare. Very, very rare. And most of the time, the dogs end up eating their own offspring. Other dogs end up eating the offspring. Because they're so worthless. But again, you know, you worship the sun because the sun does stuff. Automatically, we don't have to train the sun. And if anything, the sun is training us. But we always have to train the dog to do what we want it to do. Then we enter that delusion, that illusion, and thinking and saying that this dog is doing this because it loves you. No, you trained it to do those things, you dumbass. You trained it to do those things. You made it do those things. And if it doesn't do what you want them to do, you're either going to whoop its ass, either going to not feed it, either going to whoop its ass some more, put it in a tiny cage, put it on a tether or whatever. You're, you're going to abandon it. You're going to kill it. That's what you're going to do if that dog doesn't do what you want it to do. But obviously, there's exception to the case where a lot of dog nuts allow their dogs to do whatever. And they will still call this dog sweet, well-trained. See, again, the delusion, the illusion 
of this dog culture. It is a despicable culture. Um, and it's not like as dog haters, as a dog hater myself, we can let's just ignore dogs. We, 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 I can't. I can't just ignore dogs and, and pay attention to whatever I'm doing. I can't just, you know, shrug my shoulder at this dog culture and, and just keep walking. Because many people, again, who have been minding their own business on public property, on their own property, have been attacked and killed by dogs. So minding your own business, supporting dogs, loving dogs, taking care of them, doesn't work because you're still going to get mauled by these things. So it makes no sense for me just to mind my own business, thinking everything's gonna be, everything is going to be all right when I could be mauled at any time. Just like the children, just like uh, the grown-ups, the, the, the seniors. People, delivery drivers, minding their own business, doing their thing, and still getting mauled on public property, doing their job. So, so that's, that's off the table. To mind my own business regarding this dog culture is, is irrelevant. Is irrelevant. It's off the table. It can't be done. And obviously, you dogmas, you don't care. But then at the same time, you want everyone to love your worthless mutt? At the same time, you don't want any laws going against your worthless mutt? But, but you, you, it's like you, you dogmas want it in so many ways. So many ways that it really contradicts. It really proves and incriminates you. And the rest I'm saying is, I'm just thinking that your dog culture makes no sense. You want people to love your, your dogs. You want them to mind their own business. And even if they do get attacked and mauled, you don't even care. And if their dog is attacking people, you don't want them to defend themselves against dogs. You don't want them to take out their, take out their Glock and, and bam, bam the dog. You don't want them to take out a knife and stab the dog. You don't want that. You'd rather people get mauled to death than you to take your dog and hide it somewhere so it doesn't get put down. That's what you'd rather do. And then you're going to play like your dog is, 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 is harmless, sweet, and friendly. You're going to act like it has never been aggressive before. When you know damn well it has been aggressive, it has attacked people before, but you're still going to say, that your dog has never shown aggression before. Because that's all part of this. Your delusion, your illusion, and your stupidity. See, again. I'm going to keep saying this. Over and over and over again. Dog culture. Bully breed culture. Pit bull culture. Whatever you, know, you want to call it. Pertain a thing to these dogs. Service dogs, emotional support dogs, blind dogs, police dogs, military dogs, they're all worthless. Every single one of them is worthless. All of them are worthless. And they should be banned and eliminated off the face of the earth. Because these dog nut owners, dog nut experts and professionals, they ain't helping. They're not helping. They're not helping anything. Anything except these dogs. They're only helping to allow these dogs to create more problems. Whenever a dog is around, that problems, that, that, that's a problem. Dogs create problems. Dog owners, they all create problems. And they want everyone else just to ignore the dog and to bend over and kiss the dog's ass like a lot of these dog owners do who will literally, literally, Bend over and kiss their dog's ass. And they don't find that disgusting is because, again, it's all part of the delusion, all part of the illusion, their stupidity. They're, they're, you know, they only care about the dog. They don't, they don't, they can't see. They cannot see the foolishness that they're doing 
when it comes to the stock market. They can't see it. They can't see it. You know, you think something be so simple and easy to see. They can't see the easiest things. They don't see it the way intelligent people see it. And they don't want to see it that way. They want to remain dog nutters. They want to remain pimple nutters, bully nutters. And they don't care who, who dies in the process. They don't care who dies in the process. They don't care at all. And and it's funny how these dog nuts, again, just like I'm saying that they don't see the easiest things. A lot of these dog nutters, pimple nutters, bully nuts, they can't see that the media is vastly, maybe 100%, all full-pledged dog nutters, bully nuts, pit, pit bull tards. They're all 100% pro-dog. I'll say, I'll go as far as say 100%. If I'm wrong, good. If I'm wrong, I'll, t- I'll, 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 I'll accept it. But the media, the news media, the governments, they're, they're, they're pro-dog. And you have dog nutters, pit bull nuts, you know, complaining of, to, against the pro-dog, the pro-pit bull, pro-bully media. It, it doesn't make sense. They, they're pro-dog. Why are you arguing against something that's pro-dog here? They don't hate your dogs. They don't hate any dogs. Because they're pro-dog. They're pro-pit bull. They're pro-bully. Even if they do ban them, they are still pro-dog. They're still dog nutters. And then you're going to act as if they hate dogs. They hate bully breeds. Hate pit bull tires. And that's not the case. I don't think the media hates dogs. I don't think the media hates pit bulls or bully tards. Because they're always, again, anytime there's an incident, they always bring on pro dogs or pro pit bull nuts. Always bring those guys on to speak. Every time. So how can you say something like the media hates dogs, hates pit bulls, hates bully, bully breeds? Makes no sense. If the media really hated dogs, hated your worthless mutts, hated your bully breeds, they would not allow these bully breed pit bull advocates to come on their platform to speak their piece. Even after pit bulls have killed people, they still bring on the criminals known as the bully breeds to come and speak to defend them. Even the owners after attack, they will allow them to come and defend bully breeds on their platform. They don't censor it. They don't cut them off. They let them speak their piece when it's about defending these dogs. But then you dog nutters, again, you can't see things well. It's because you're so stupid. You're stupid. You can't see that the media is pro-dog and you want to say they hate dogs. They hate bully breeds. Then why would they keep bringing on Dog nuts that are pro bully breed, pro pit bull. Even after attack, they keep bringing on the same type of dog nutters to speak their piece to defend and defend and defend these worthless mutts. Maybe it has happened, but I've maybe once, this is back like maybe 20, 30 years ago, but in recent years, I have yet to see an, like, actually, no, I haven't. I haven't. I have not. I have yet to see a dog hater, a fully pledged, fully intelligent dog hater on these news platforms, you know, you know, saying what needs to be said. I may have seen people, you know, a long time ago that are anti pitbull bully breed, but that's just like one segment. And that's like one segment. But after that, worldwide, 
in Canada, in US, UK, Australia. It all they always choose the pro dogs, the pro pit bull nuts, the pro bully tards to speak their peace. But you dog nuts, you, you can't see it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to accept it because you're your dog nutters, your your dog tards. Um, you only care about the dog. You don't care who the dog hurts, who the dog bothers. You, you don't care. Um, worldwide, there's have always been complaints about these dogs and you dog nuts, you don't do anything about it. And sometimes you'll say you like on social media, you'll say you do yada yada. You do, but in real, real in reality, you, you don't. You, you don't care. You don't care. You only care about your dog. You want everyone else to kiss your dog's ass. But your dog is freaking worthless and disgusting and annoying and dangerous. And why would I, you know, want to kiss your dog's ass if it's that disgusting and worthless? You know, if there is an animal that, you know, I need to kiss ass with, it's probably the chicken. I'm not going to do it, but I'm just saying the chicken. The chicken, you know, brings out life, brings out food. You know, brings out food for us. And, and they've been slaughtered left to right worldwide. So that's an animal that deserves to be kissed and, and worshipped. Any animal, you know, that is slaughtered regularly needs to be Worship. I'm not talking about the dog. I don't give a damn about dogs. But these animals who, who cause no harm to people, you know, they, they're the ones that need to be worshipped. They're the ones that, you know, we need to acknowledge and, and give thanks for. Maybe not like worship like a religion, but we've got to give thanks to them. Providing us food, providing us resources and benefits. Because a lot of us would not be here without their source of food. But... We don't worship them. We don't acknowledge them. We just keep killing. But the dog does nothing. Absolutely nothing. But kills and destroys. Creates problems. Breaks and destroys relationships. Yet we, or at least the dog nutters, want to continue to worship this thing. Dog nutters just uh, at least try, at least try to, uh, to see Try to see your buffoonery, your dog nuttery, and, 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 and cut it out. And, and just cut it out. Because enough is enough already. And, and you guys are all, you're all you're, you guys, this dog culture is getting worse. It's getting worse. It is getting worse. Very worse. But anyways, another little ramble rant from yours truly, Gore, the dog butcher. And I'm going to be keep, I'm going to keep doing these. I, I don't care if I'm saying the same thing over and over again, but because this whole dog culture has been doing the same thing over again. And it's funny how the, this do, the dog culture can say the same things over and over again. Do the same things over again. Kill people over and over again. But as soon as I say the same things over again, that's wrong. But the dog culture, they're, they're allowed to kill people over and over again. And you can't say anything about that. Dog culture is allowed to annoy people, create problems over and over again. These dog owners are allowed to create problems over and over again. Nothing can be said about that. But as soon as you start to say things over and over again, that's the problem. But anyways, go the dog butcher. Another worthless month. And remember, it is okay to hate dogs. <laughs>